All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this deck later on. For our next deck, which is going to be Esper Duplicate. Uh, it's a donation deck that we have here, um, even though um, I changed it up quite a bit. It was Matthew's deck who said that I could because he was just trying to put together basically what he really wanted was a quasi duplicate with like Hostage Shaker and Sarah for the scales and Deputy Detention. Um, had, he had tons and tons of spells. I wanted a lot more creatures. Um, so this is what we got. We got a creature heavy deck. If, if decks had to be like 80 cards, we'd be able to throw in like a bunch of militia buglers in here as well. Um, and definitely consider buglers. I think they'd either have to go in for either the thieves or the seraphs, but I think thieves and seraphs are probably better cards than, um, than what, uh, bugler is. Um, Stay down. Um, so you said the hero looks good because of so many multicolor cards. So we have like, you know, so we have 17 multicolor cards. Um, we could play like hero instead of squire. But I honestly just don't think hero is really that good. Just like like the 2-2 two -two that makes a couple 1-1s. One I don't know. I don't think it's that good in this. I don't, I like the, I actually kind of like squire more of digging through the deck. Um yeah, I'm fine with not playing hero. Um, our sideboard, we have like anti-control stuff with our duress negates. Um, Unward Ego is in here because Wilderness Reclamation decks are going to be a huge problem, like the Nexus decks. So we have uh, Unward Ego for that because the decks that don't rely on creatures, we're going to be okay against decks that rely on creatures with all these like removal uh, creatures that we have with Taker, Chupacabra, Deputy, and being able to copy them. But those that just ignore creatures completely are going to be tough. So that's what our egos are for. Um, Immortal Sun can come in against uh, Golgar or Soltai. Um, and uh, that's what we got. So let's give it a try. Sorry, okay. That's for duplicates. I guess the teamer gate's already ready to go up on YouTube. Gotta do some typing here. Alright, let's get that third land drop. Because <clears throat> Freebooter into Thief of Sanity is basically as good as Thought Erasure into Thief of Sanity. Um, against Basic Island, I want to do this, because Freebooter is really good against Basic Island, usually. Uh, what is this? Deputy Detention should be very good against a Persistent Petitioner deck. Squire was better than Hero Precinct 1 would be. Okay, I'm getting Teamer Gates ready to go on the YouTube channel right now. I think I can wait a turn before I deputy. Alright, where's Teamer? Well, we, got, we have a lot of quasi duplicates. Let's copy these deputies now. We 
What if we mill our opponent out with their with their own pers persistent petitioners? Go for the mill plan. <laughs> Thanks, Jelly. What if we did just stop attacking and just start playing petitioner and then copying petitioners? Give me that back. I don't I don't know what we have in our hand or this looks like just a lot of a lot of cards. That doesn't even look like you know, it looks like we have way too many cards in hand there. Uh Dang. On where do you go, petitioners isn't gonna work. Hey Matthew, welcome back, yeah. Yeah, that was a fun game one. Um, yeah, this only, as you can see, it says uh, you can only search their uh, deck for up to four cards with that name, unfortunately. So we're not getting we're not getting more than four copies of persistent petitioners with <sighs> on Mord Ego. Um, yeah, thief ended up main board. Um, uh, let's keep it the same. Yeah, ended up going with Thief main board. Went, you know, got a lot more creatures to go with these duplicates in here. Heading to Bama? Like... Alabama. All right, Freebooter, what you got? <laughs> they're the they're a quasi duplicate deck, also. Let's take one of these corrosions. I think it doesn't matter too much here. Let's just squire and, uh, you know, look for some more impactful card. Ooh. Yeah, best of luck with the ice cream truck tomorrow morning. Okay, so you're doing the drive there today and then drive back tomorrow. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, right, I need to do this. All right, so Teamer Gates. Perfect. All right, we're looking for another deputy, hostage shaker, ravenous chupacabra, any of that kind of stuff. Team or Gates should be up on YouTube now. Let's 
Yeah, yeah, if we had Spyglass, we could name p Persistent Petitioners with Spyglass. They do have to pay one if they do the... Yes, they'd have to pay one if they do this on our turn with Tithe Taker. Or they milled over two Hostage Takers. Those are good cards. Alright, let's just copy the Freebooter here. See what else they got going on for their last card over there. I don't know why they have that card in their deck. We're at 33 cards in library. Not too worried about getting milled out yet. We're down to 27. They can mill 12. 12 is not going to kill us. Yeah, just some casual, unblockable petitioner beat down over here. Did they put this on like their opponent's creature? Alright, 1 and 0. Oh. Kind of an easy warm-up match here for our deck. That's a fun one. Alright, going to match number 2. Love it. On the play. This is what we want. On the play, freebooter into Thief of Sanity. Uh, freebooter is quite good against mono blue. Block that Storm Tamer. Spell Pierce, dive down, Charter Core. So obviously I don't care about Spell Pierce. So it's either Dive Down or Chart of Course. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and Chart of Course. Take the chart? Yeah, I'm going to take the chart. Tithe Taker is great against Mono Blue, too. That deck's pretty good against Mono Blue. Really hoping they did not find Curious Obsession. They'd get to put it on the Herald and start drawing. Alright, good. No Obsession. I found it a little odd. I kind of found it a little odd that our opponent um, led with Storm Tamer over Herald. Is Storm Tamer like a better turn one play? My plan was to actually, after combat, my plan was probably just to double spell with these things and get Tithe Taker in play, but then, you know, obviously, with because I was worried about, like, a, a Wizard's Retort countering Seraph, I didn't want Seraph to get countered, but then obviously with uh, the Trickster coming in and taking out the Thief of Sanity, uh, they couldn't counter the Seraph anymore, so went ahead and went with the Seraph. Yeah, Storm Tamer does open up the turn 2 retort, but 
What if you, you know, if you don't have retort? Like, our opponent did not have retort. Yeah, that dive down gets pretty expensive. Makes it easier for our uh, hostage shaker to take something. Um, what to do here? So I want Lyra. Um, take out the Midnight Reaper and the Lazav for these Lyras. Duresses and Negates are, like, pretty good, but I, I don't even know if we really need to play them. I guess Squire doesn't really do anything. We can take out Squire for some Duresses. I'm thinking about trimming down on these quasi-duplicates, though. Maybe I do that and just have the four Duresses. Could have Mortify for, like, the other, for just another removal spell. Um, Secret Squire is a, a decent card. It's a it's a pretty a pretty good turn two play. It helps you hit land drops. That's one thing I'm I'm worried about the deck overall is you know hitting land drops. <laughs> Booing because I'm taking out two quasi duplicates. I understand that. If you were to play a Persistent Petitioner's deck, how would you build it? Um, you can actually find a Persistent Petitioner's deck. Uh, we did we did build one. Um, or... I guess I, I played one that somebody else built. Because it was a donation deck. We played it um, originally in Standard. We went 0-3. Uh, but then we played it. But then we took it to the uh, Best of One event. Or sorry, the uh, the singleton event and did well with it there. Um, but I think our only deck was like it was just like twenty four lands, a bunch of like twenty nine petitioners, and I think I had like four quench and three chemisters insight. That that's that's all that was in was in there. Uh, we ended up taking out the. Whenever we went to Singleton, um, or no, Popper, that's what we did. We, we took it to Popper. Popper did really well, not Singleton. Popper. Anyway, for Popper, um, you know, we changed the in, the Chemistry's Insights to be Divinations. And I think Divination might have been better for that deck anyway. So that's kind of the good part about taking out quasi-duplicates, though, is that it makes our deck really good against Spell Pierce. Because, <laughs> like, we just don't have... Like, they have, like, the Spell Pierce in their hand, and we don't have, like, Spell Pierces to do... Or, like, we don't even have spells for them to pierce. That's what I meant to say. So we don't have to really worry about that. I don't really want to attack with the Freebooter there. They could, you know, have a Trickster, eat the Freebooter, get their Retort back. Um, could be a little bit of a problem there. Uh, I do not, buddy. And I don't, I don't really like Hero that much. I like the squires of, you know, helping us hit land drops. That's what squire does. As you can tell, like, by this game, that's something that I am certainly worried about just in general is hitting land drops. 
Do I want a hostage taker that exclusion mage? Or just play Seraph of the Scales? Okay, boot. Will do. Hmm. And I, I like Seraph over Thief of Sanity because, you know, Ther Seraph is a, a faster clock. They really like to deal with, like, if they just play, like, Tempest Gin, my Thief of Sanity doesn't get to get through anymore, but, like, the Seraph can. No, no. I just like Seraph. Rude. Like an hostage taker, my Seraph. Might as well do that. Yeah. Seraph's your favorite card in Allegiance? Nice. Yeah. Seraph is quite awesome. Yeah, if we had the other white mana, we were playing Lyra that turn, but we didn't have the the second white source to cast the Lyra. Yeah, we could ha hostage taker our our hostage taker. Tino with that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Tino. Thanks for resubbing there. Sub number 14. Only one away from our next sub goal. Um, I am going to be playing Hasa Shaker here. I don't really want the Seraph to get countered. If, like, one of these is going to get countered, I, I don't mind Hostage Shaker getting countered that much. Yeah, so so it's better to do this line of taking the other Hostage host, hostage because the Seraph just enters play. And the Seraph can't get countered then because it just enters the battlefield. All right, yeah, boot. That sounds good. Yeah, do you want to do some more trivia? Go ahead. And some MTG bot trivia. <laughs> negate. Um. Yeah, we talked a little bit about the Quip, Quip sponsor. We had a, a one person sign up for Quip. We have that the campaign going right now. Um, if you need a uh, new electric toothbrush. I can't recommend Quip enough. Also, if we go through my referral link, sign up, get your toothbrush. Um, sent home to you. You uh, not only get your first refill free, you have a free um, new tube of toothpaste and 
uh, head brush cover, $10 value, but you also help support the stream basically the same as subscribing for an entire year. So if you want to help support the channel and um, want a new toothbrush, check it out. Quip uh, toothbrushes. The other thing, the other special thing I'm doing, um, if you... Walk like this? Yeah. The other, the other thing I'm doing, for those of you that sign up, is you get a free donation deck. So if you if you have a deck you'd like me to play and you were going to donate for a donation deck, anyway, consider signing up for, for Quip. Because then, you know, you, you get your toothbrush, you get your donation deck, you get everything. So one more time, there's the uh, link, the referral code there. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, you can find the referral link down in the uh, video description as well. All right, so I have the trickster that I get to play. Here to tap one of their things. Opponent came pretty close. You know, we got down to four. We had so like a bunch of our top end cards we couldn't really play, but deck ended up still being a little too strong. There. All right, two and zero. Oh. Our deck looks pretty solid against mono blue in that whole match. Yeah, the brush head is part of the refill. Yeah, you get a new brush head and new tube of toothpaste. They'll be sent to you in three months. Um, that's 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 the uh, the free part there. And there's a little there's a cool notification thing that pops up on screen too. Um, so yeah, I mean you get you already get your first toothpaste and brush head sent to you, both of which are supposed to last for three months. It gives gives you like the portion you should be using and everything. Uh, and then in, in three months, you'll get a new one sent to you, a $10 value. So if you get their plastic toothbrush, their plastic toothbrush, electric toothbrush with toothpaste and everything is $25 for their really high quality dentist approved toothbrush. Um, so for that, you get you get like their ten dollar refill for free, and you get a a deck uh, donation deck, which is usually ten dollars. Um, or sorry, which is usually twenty dollars uh, on my stream. You get that for free also. Yes. So, sir, sir Swin Swindler. So you want some goblins? So tell me. All right. So Swindler, you want me to play some goblins? Um. What what day and what time? Do you want me to play said goblin deck? You know, first, second, third, or fourth on the deck list? And which day works for you? Right now I have one deck for tomorrow in the third slot. It's the only deck that I've signed up for right now. All right, fourth tomorrow. Okay. Um, and then do you have do you have like a goblin deck list? Like, do you, do you have your own deck list, or do you need me to make the deck? Uh, which one of those? Mm -hmm. 
I should have blocked this. I should have probably blocked that dodger there. Yes, yeah, so a swindler. If you have your own, if you have your own deck list, let me know. I'll make sure to play yours. We're kind of like. You know, barely getting this done, point at a time. All right, opponent finally got more mana. I think they're probably playing another Steamkin next turn. I guess I have, I have quasi duplicate though. I was gonna say I was gonna wait on Thief of Sanity, but you know what? I'm, let's just start quasi duplicating. Kill their things. Okay. Death by a million, one and two power creatures. All right, so goblins fourth tomorrow. We have vampires third tomorrow. Um, Lyra's coming in. If we play these duresses and negates, um, this is sixty six. I think Chupacabra is probably better than Hostage Taker. I don't think Thief of Sandy is really that good. I mean, well, it is good, I suppose. Because Secret Squire is a good card. That's why we're playing it. I don't think I need all these duresses and negates. I need just like some duresses. Let's go with this. Yeah, actually, let's let's trim a couple of takers for mortifies. Let's get the mortifies in there, especially them playing flame McHeld. Oh no no no! Oh, I wanted to hit submit. I didn't realize I was running that close out of time.
Hmm. Well, unfortunately, we do not want to quasi duplicate the Lazav. Yeah, that happens way too often with the forgetting to submit and everything. Spear spewer. So they have shock. I have to like shock myself a bunch to play these cards, which is unfortunate. But, like, you know, they have one other card in hand. I think it's worth it. Alright, I could... I don't have to shock here, I guess. I can just quasi-duplicate the... Uh, I could just Thief of Sanity. Nah, let's... Let's take the Steamkin. Like, what do you mean you, you struggled on land, Lee? All right, yeah, yeah, you won the... Won the trivia, so... You would have earned a gift, a gifted sub from Boot, but... Since you already subbed... You can pick somebody out in chat to give this up to. Uh, okay, yeah, missing land drops and everything. That's that's why I have like the squires in here. I think the squires kind of help with that. Lazav does a little bit, has that surveil, but. Uh, do you think True Name Nemesis could be in modern? No. No, I think True Name Nemesis is a complete mistake of a printed card and doesn't need to be in modern at all. I don't think it adds to enjoyment of magic, protection from like the player. No. I prefer that card be banned in Legacy. Just not a not a good design card. All right, we got a victory over Mono Red. Three and O. Oh. All right, we'll do a reset here. Um. Like was game was lagging a tad bit, not not a real bad, but someone was saying in chat that um, um, I think it was lagging a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do a reset. We've been on for almost five hours and haven't reset at all. So we'll do a quick one here. Oh no! I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. We have to do an update now.
Okay. Hey. Okay. You want to come up here? Maybe on. Be on camera for a minute. Okay. He's ignoring me. Okay. He's ignoring me. Hey, come here. Okay. He doesn't usually ignore me. Uh, yeah, puppy's in. Puppy's in the other room. Um, I could go get puppy. Puppy doesn't get to be on on stream too much. Yeah, I could go get puppy. Uh, here's puppy. Ooh, puppy, you gonna be on stream. It's your favorite. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have done this restart. <laughs> Good girl, puppy. And that's her name, puppy. She's the best. I don't know what the update's about. I think somebody's saying that they switched to like a added like some added like a, a different sealed format in. I don't really know what it's about though. That's my guess. Alright, we're back. All right, so we are currently 3-0 with Esper Duplicate. Hey, puppy, you got some cheers. Why are you tucking your head like you're all scared? Can you go say hi to the camera? There you go. Yeah, it's not so bad. Um... Let's go ahead and mulligan the one lander. See if our opponent can answer a turn three Thief of Sanity. <laughs> You're really enjoying just digging your head in here, aren't you? Uh, no. Is your nose cold or something? Puppers? So I know it's better to play the, the tap land in there, but I don't really want to tell my opponent that we just drew a land. Okay, well, didn't matter. They knew about it. Boop. Is getting that gifted sub for Yud winning the, the um the trivia earlier. It really just seems like our opponent's going to counter the Seraph of the Scales, so I'm not sure if I actually want to play it. What do you think, Bup? Should we play the Seraph into the counter spell? I 
I guess so. Aw, thanks, Sergeant Dimples. Puppy, say thank you. You got some cheers for the, for the puppy. Hey, Ronim. Or Ronin. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, Ronin. I really do appreciate that support. Getting that resub in for the second month. Alright, so cast down the Tithe Taker. We'll freeboot, see what they got. Ritual of Soot and Spell Pierce. We'll take the ritual. Don't. <clears throat> Don't care about Spell Pierce in our deck, which is pretty nice. King Toll, have a good night. Day bouncing the freebooter. Alright, let's play it again. No! Oh, uh, that's bad. Bad puppy. Alright, I'm going greedy. Could just chupacabra and kill that dream eater. Getting kind of greedy though. Would have had that six land. Man, that was unfortunate, taking the Spell Pierce instead of the Ritual of Soot. That was really unfortunate. Fortunately, I don't think we're fli we're beating a Flipped as Kanta now. Let me take that. Yeah, that was a rough misclick. My, I like, I guess I like, I like double clicked and, yeah, it was rough. No, Hawkeye and Puppy don't get along too well. They're, they're doing better. It's really just, um, it's really just, uh, Hawkeye being scared of Puppy. Please do not do that. So now, if they want to get that, uh, if they want to get this Frass's Contempt, they have to um, kill the Karn. Nothing is ever truly lost. What are you searching for down? Just like looking at the ground.
game's over. Yeah, Hawkeye's a scaredy cat. Um, Alright, so we got a lot to bring in here. Let's see. This is 69. I think I like Taker and Chupacabra, but I don't like Deputy of Detention. Um, I don't love Freebooter either. And I don't really like Quasi Duplicate. Especially if they have instant speed removal, they just kill like the, the thing I'm trying to target with the Quasi Duplicate. Yeah. That's the thing. Control decks is with a bunch of decks. Decks with a lot of removal. Quasi Duplicate's worse against. Um, and then one more card, and I think it's going to be Hostage Taker. It's either a Hostage Taker or a Chupacabra for this last card. Let's do Taker. Even if I would have taken the, the Ritual of Sid, I don't think we were winning that game. You want to just... You just want to leave. You want to go run around. No, you can't go run around. You gotta stay up here with me. Otherwise, Hawkeye will be mad. There you go. No, I don't do any coaching. Um, I do the stream here each and every day. And that's the amount of time I spend on, you know, work every day. This is a good one through four curve. Duress, Squire, Reaper, then Seraph. Don't need any more lands, deck. I think we're good on that front. Ooh, maybe we'll draw an Immortal Sun. Puppy, can you get us an Immortal Sun next turn? <coughs> Thank you, Puppy. Wow. Got some Puppy luck. Oh, so nice of you, puppy. Oh, wait. Karn doesn't do anything because the Immortal Sun. Right. I'm still playing it. I am Khan. Just in case the Immortal Sun leaves. Then we can start playing it. Alright, fine puppy. I'll take you back. Alright, I'm gonna take puppy back to the other room. Here, say bye puppy. Bye. Bye puppy. Bye. Okay. Ugh. All right, puppy's gone, Hawkeye. Okay. Movie Star with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Movie Star. 
I do appreciate that. All right, sub number 18 on the day? That can't be right. 16? Maybe I'm one behind, actually. I think 17. I think there was one that was double counted. We'll go 17. Um, so they have Chupacabra. They have a bunch of Eldest Reborns. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're playing Karn, so we wouldn't sacrifice tokens over the next Elder Reborn. I think Quasi Duplicate's a stronger card than um, Siren's Ruse, but Siren's Ruse is pretty interesting. Yeah, it's, it's starting to double count some of those. Looks like. But yeah, thanks thanks again for subbing there, movie star. Oh, okay. Okay, you wanna come up here? Or do I smell too much like dog now? Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, I asked you to come over earlier. But you didn't. Mm -hmm. Sirens being instant speed is certainly the best thing about the card, in my opinion. I wonder if they have spell pierce for their other card, how they played the swamp and carefully carefully like went tap tap black mana black mana there. Ah, my Sarah for the scales. Do you think they have a... Uh, they kept some card really quickly. Do you think that they have a Ritual of Soot? Nah, I'm just playing it. Because if they do kill the Kite Sail for you... Like... If they did have, like, Ritual of Soot, they would just kill the Freebooter and get back Cast Down. And then the Cast Down would... Um... Still kill the Thief of Sanity anyway. Wow. I'm honestly pretty surprised that they played the Eldritch Reborn right here when they know that I have like the Seraph the Scales on top and they didn't just like hold up this, the Sabotage at all. All right, so question is, I'm looking to make an Angel's deck. Which iteration of the colors would you recommend? Um, it's kind of hard to say. I'm not sure exactly which one I like the most. I'm kind of leaning towards the, the Selesnya Angels that I played the other day as, as my favorite current Angel's deck. Dr. Pez getting that uh, tier one sub for the second month. Yeah, we are going to be playing a, a Jeskai Angels deck, a little bit different one for the first time here in a little bit, courtesy of White Korean there. We will, um, it's it's more of a Flash version with like Rafka Passion.
Oh yeah, the angels the angels are mythics, yep. These of the scales have been nice. Alright, what'd you draw, opponent? You're at three. Hopefully not Vrasis Contempt. And there we go, a 4-0 for Esper Duplicate. You know, our, our cards aren't very powerful for like attacking wise, you know, just a bunch of one and one and two power cards for the most part, but um, that's why we have these Seraphs in here. Get us that extra boost. All right, 4-0. Ooh, final boss time. Our last, I think our last win was against Mono Red. Bum, bum. Ooh, I like it. Got this Squire, and then Thief, then Copy Thief, then Copy Thief again. Yeah, you can find all of the decks um, right there on my Stream Decker page, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Choppy, sub number 19 on the day. Welcome to the channel, Choppy. Really do appreciate all of these wonderful subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for helping support me as a full-time streamer here. Turn 2 Legion War Boss is pretty cool. I don't have another black source yet for the troops. We have I don't no, I don't think we no, we did not open up our fifth our pack at fifteen. Come to think of it. We even have an extra life. We are at the final boss fight right now. We do have an extra life. As well. Hmm. All right, no black mana, so I can. Hmm. I'll wait a turn. I was thinking about quasi duplicating the the squire to try to um, have it more likely that we find black mana. I think I'll wait a turn though. I really want to duplicate these chupacabras. You know, like right, like we're playing against a green, red creature deck. Chupacabra is gonna be amazing. So just having like chup, chup, copy a chup, copy a chup. That's just a, a really good thing for us to be doing. So I'm gonna try wait another turn. Good wait, good wait. Trade Tithe Taker for Land War Elf. No, I don't really miss playing Modern too much, honestly. Looking at a lot of the what's doing well in Modern these days, don't, don't <clears throat> doesn't really look like decks that I would enjoy. So 
So our opponent just stuck on lands. Like, they just have a bunch of lands in hand. Yeah, they may just have a bunch of lands in hand. Alright, creature deck. Mortifies. Lyra. Lyra's not good against collision so much, but it's probably good against a lot of other things. I can maybe take out... Maybe don't need to give our opponent the boot. Um, makes our curve higher, but... Deputy, Choop, Hostage Taker, it's all, like, good cards. <laughs> yeah, give the opponent the boot. Um... Yeah, this is probably fine. I am going to be kind of bad against Collision, but oh well. Cool, good, Matthew. Yeah, I thought, I thought like what you originally had just had like way too much removal because it was, it was just filled with like removal and then Deputy Chupacabra Hostage Taker. Like there was nothing else. And so I kind of like I like what we got going on here. I mean, I wonder if Freebooter would be better than Lyra in this hand. It probably would be. Just have nothing to do on turn two. We'll kind of be able to tell if our opponent has another Growth Chamber Guardian or not. So it certainly seems like our opponent does have another Growth Chamber Guardian. Because I, I think if you don't have another Growth Chamber Guardian, I think you just activate Growth Chamber Guardian there and get another one. So with them playing the Goblin, I kind of feel like one of these four cards is another Growth Chamber Guardian. So I don't need to be as concerned about immediately mortifying. So I'm going to play this Reaper that can trade with the Goblin and draw us a card. Um... With that extra draw, hopefully helping us get to another land drop. We didn't get there. So I guess I'll just mortify this thing. Really wanted Ch Chupacabra that, of course. I was initially blocking the card that I drew, so I didn't I didn't know what card I drew, so I had to look over there to see. Oh, I'm sorry, Besso. You just lose to all the Esper and Mono Red decks. Sorry to hear that. Yep, there's Collision. If something's getting collisioned from my hand, that's the one I want to get collisioned. that deputy attention back. Take these things. So I'm, I'm blowing up the 
the growth chamber guardian that has not adapted yet, so they're not able to adapt um, and get more. We haven't, uh, we played against a blue-black control, but we did not play against Esper control in this league. Um, didn't play against any Reclamation either. Um, so I have the Unmoored Egos in the sideboard is for the Wilderness Reclamation matchup, because I think that would be a, a tough one, kind of in general. Um... One Phoenix gone. And there we go. That's a 5-0. I think Esper would be probably a little tough. I mean, the thing is our, our sideboard is helps those, the, those kind of matchups out. 2100. So our deck's like, you know, built to beat creature decks like our opponent's deck with all these, you know, deputies, chupacabras, hostage takers, and the ability to keep copying them. You know, like that's what we're going to be good against. And so I was certainly worried about the decks that just ignore creatures quite a bit. And so that's why in the sideboard you can see all these duresses, negates, um, and the unmoored egos would go there too. And also Immortal Sun for card advantage and shutting down planeswalkers. So that's basically everything in our sideboard. <laughs> and and it, even against the, uh, the Wilderness Reclamation decks, we have the Mortifies there also. So like against Wilderness Reclamation, we have like, you know... A lot of cards. Same thing. We have like a, so we have eleven cards against either of those matchups that we'd be bringing in. Um, and then you know some of our cards are like really annoying for them. You know, like Thief of Sanity. If that gets going, you know we have like the Freebooter to help protect it. After sideboard having Duress and Freebooter and Negate for like Thief of Sanity is pretty nice. Seraph of the Scales and Tithe Taker are kind of annoying for like the opponents to deal with. Um, so you know, like we're not. I'm not necessarily sold that like we're not like super favored against control or anything, but we have game there. So thanks, Jelly. Thanks for the cheers there with the nice league. Cheers. Um, uh, so yeah, so that's Esper Duplicate. Pretty impressive showing uh, going through that that uh, league with the five zero. We did like our first match was was a free win um, against like a you know a mill deck. Um, a Persistent Petitioner's deck. Uh, then we played against Mono Red, where it wasn't a, wasn't a necessarily, it wasn't like a top tier version of Mono Red either, so it was a little easier. Um, and uh, played against Blue Black Control. I thought that was uh, a really good close match. Uh, we had that Green Red aggro there, and Mono Blue. Oh, we, we stomped Mono Blue. Um, so... Ooh, yeah, we have a pack to open up, too. So there we go. Esper Duplicate. All right, we'll crack open this pack here. We'll go Rivals of Ixalan, because I think we have one rare left in Rivals of Ixalan. We were looking at this earlier. I think Induced Amnesia is the only rare we have left. So let's crack it open. Let's get this Induced Amnesia. No, it's the Mythic. Uh, we got 40 gems instead. Because we got a mythic. The one time I wanted to actually open a rare instead of a mythic. <laughs> um. All right. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, one, thanks for watching. And that's it for Esper Duplicate. I hope to see you for the next video.